thank you very, very much. That was truly humbling. Um, I really also must congratulate the previous winners. It was impressive. I felt, they always say never follow valedictorians. I felt like I followed two valedictorians. It was very impressive and congratulations to both of you. Very humbled by this. In a way, this is, is kind of like a homecoming. Uh, if not for me, for my family who really didn't know my life in Georgia. And so I'm glad that kind of put it all in one video. It saved me a lot of dialogue. <laughs> so they'd heard a lot of the stories, but I'm glad they had a chance to see it. And I do want to clarify about that bullfighter outfit. That's not a Cuban costume. That's a Spanish costume and was never actually used in the field of battle against a bull. I think I'm glad that was up there a total of two seconds. I really would like to thank all the folks at Terry College uh, that are here tonight. This is a tremendous event. Uh, Atlanta, yesterday, Athens yesterday, uh, the weather couldn't have been better. It was a Chamber of Commerce day and I was just so proud to be back on the campus. Uh, it was exhilarating and has been exhilarating all weekend long. Even Buckhead, where I don't get up here as much as I would like, it's beginning to look like Manhattan as I was touring through it. I felt like I was going through New York City compared to the Atlanta I left in 1975. Um, but it's very special to have 90% of my family here. One of my daughters lives in LA and that, that would have been a long weekend trip. But I know she's, she's with us on the speakerphone, I think. <laughs> but it's special to have my family with me to see a part of my life that they had heard but not seen. Now they're, they're beginning to understand why I used to say, como esta y'all? I think they... <laughs> It's also, it's also really cool to have my new son-in-law, Felipe, and my daughters use their own points and dollars to fly around and come to the meeting. <laughs> That's really cool. So uh, thank you for that. Um, <laughs> while my time in Atlanta was long, 17 years, my time in Athens was very short. Remember, I went there for, for grad school. It was a year and a half without a break. I went, uh, thanks to my friend Jack, who said, hey, I've got an opportunity for you. Not only do I have a place where you can go to school if you get accepted, but I also have a place for you to live. And I'll talk about that in a second. But I had a chance for a year and a half, including summers, to work on my master's degree. And it was a, what I would call a full immersion impact because I was working part time at the, if any of you were there in the 70s, at the local big star at the Alps Road Shopping Center, not far from the Beechwood Shopping Center. Um, and everyone, uh, Big Star was my, my world after campus, but everyone shops at the grocery store. And so I, I think often that while I didn't have a chance to participate in the fraternity sorority effect directly, I kind of did because everyone shopped at the grocery store. So if you know Posses, I got invited to every fraternity and sorority party ever because we had a very open Greek system. So. It was a lot of fun. The teachers shopped at the grocery store. Got to know them pretty well, that's always good. And uh, more importantly, I got to know the locals and the people from Athens and the surrounding communities. So it was my first time away from home and a chance to really get to know, you know folks from all over. It was a fantastic experience. I'll never forget that the, uh, to this day, a record obviously, and it will continue to be a record since dollar costs go up, but the lowest rent that I ever paid for anything was my ap apartment in Athens, Georgia. As it turns out, and I found out tonight, and this is a true story, I found out tonight, all along I thought that my friend Jack was the one that found the apartment. Well, it turns out that Ray DeLugos, who's here tonight, actually negotiated the $75 a month rent <laughs> at the apartment behind ex-mayor's Julius Bishop's house. So that means each of us paid $25 a month. It's not a bad deal. I was able to Paid for my apartment with three hours worth of work at the Big Star. It's pretty good. <laughs> also, while working, I had the opportunity to, to have a second job for about a year, um, and this was through the university, with an internship with the Ernest and Julio, no pun intended, Ernest and Julio Gallo Wine Company. They actually, at that time, and they failed, as you will see in a second, they did try to instill the beginning of selling wine on campus. And so I was a campus social consultant <laughs> selling, selling wine to fraternities and sororities, not 
Um, it was a lot of fun. I felt very sophisticated selling Gallo wine <laughs> with my punch bowl and the whole bit. <laughs> but it was a chance to meet all the sorority girls and a chance to, to get to know the people of Athens even better. So tremendous experience. And again, I attribute that to the business school. Thank you for that opportunity. <laughs> Maybe there's someone out there that tried some of the punch that I used to make. <laughs> now at Brooks Hall, I remember, and this is, this is on a more serious note, I do remember at Brooks Hall, still standing today, small group discussions in our MBA classes with folks from many different countries. And I think a lot about, I, I remember their names as well, folks from England, from India, I remember from Iraq. And it was always interesting to see those, those of us, including myself from Cuba, with folks from Tifton, Macon, Savannah, Albany, commerce, et cetera. So it was, a truly, it was truly the beginnings of becoming a global place. Um, <laughs> again, yesterday at the groundbreaking, and as I saw the, for the first time the plans of the buildings that were unveiled that you saw tonight, it's impressive that over the last 40 years, uh, the University of Georgia has, is evolving. And it, it reminds me a little bit of Burger King 30 years ago. It's evolving from uh, an institution that happen to have students from many different universities to an institution that's becoming gl a global village that knows how to do business in an international fashion. And I really think that's what tonight is about and that's what the campaign is about, is how do we, how are we uh, able to help enable the university to be competitive in a world where Burger King Corporation today is owned by a Brazilian equity fund, in a, in a world where Jaguar today is owned by an Indian company in a world today where Anheuser-Busch is owned by Ambev, an Austrian company with Brazilian owners. And I think that in order to prepare to compete in the world that we're in, I think we need the, the best resources we can to go with the talent that you've seen tonight and that is here represented tonight with the students. So that's really what tonight is all about. You know, among the many blessings that have come my way, and, and God knows I've had more than a few, uh, I guess my, my brief, but exhilarating time in Athens, interacting with fellow students, teachers, and local citizens has to be at the top of the list. I'm very thankful again for my family to be here with me tonight. We have to take a copy of that video. It, it's a great, great video. I can't wait to show it to other family members that aren't here. <laughs> but uh, I've been away too long. Uh, I've actually run into people I haven't seen in many, many years tonight, and it's great to be back. Go dogs and go Miami Heat. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs>